Okay. Hey, it's Randy Mettner from Hi, we're working on our chicken coop. Been a busy past couple of days. I just haven't been able to work because people have been coming up. <laughs> well, and this is not a chicken. It's more than just a chicken coop. This is bigger. Yeah, this is a coop on one side. And this side here is going to have chicken wire on it. So to have an outside run and you can actually move it around your yard if you want to. So it's almost like a chicken house because the person can actually walk in, not a yeah. coop. I hate the little chicken houses where you can't get in there. This way you can actually walk inside of it. It's big enough to walk into. Right. You can walk in. You could sweep it out, scoop it out. Yeah. It's got a nice six foot tall door or five foot tall yeah, door. It's going to be five foot tall in the back. It's six foot tall in the front. He's got a window here on one side. He's going to put his, uh, what are they called? Chicken baskets where they lay their egg nesting boxes. Nesting boxes. The, uh, where their roost is, is going to be perch or roost, is going to be right over here. Then they have a little walkway to get into their chicken run. And it's a big, good little backyard in the subdivision. Have a few chickens to have some eggs. And... Yeah, this is, and actually he even thought about uh, putting wheels on it to where you can roll it around like a, almost like a chicken tractor. Yeah, I mean, it, it'd probably take two people to roll it, but it's, uh, you could do it. Right. I mean, it'd be stationary rolling. Then I was looking at it earlier and I'm going, well, that'd be a perfect setup, like for if you had a, you know, had a camper or something. Mm -hmm. uh, put the toilet in this side, make it like a foot tall, put a toilet in this side, and put a shower on that side. Like with half wall, that'd be perfect. That's have true. A, have a toilet and an outdoor shower. Yeah, that's true. So a lot of different yep. ideas come from building one little thing. Yep. But. Well, We've, ta we've talked to so many people and we've built stuff for so many people that uh, live in small subdivisions. And they're like, well, I'm only, I'm going to have like five or six chickens or two or three chickens. But yet they live in a subdivision. They live on, not on a farm, but in a small community. Uh, so this is something that they could put in their own backyard out from their back door Maybe at the edge of their, you know, backyard. Um, also great for like kids starting in 4-H. Mm -hmm. um, learning how to, you know, care for animals, care for chickens or whatever it may be. Yep. Uh, that's the best thing for a kid. It, it gives them a little bit of responsibility. That's true. That, They've yep. got to be fed. They gotta be fed, watered, took care of. Their nesting boxes have to be cleaned. Yeah, you know, so there's there is for you know, they gotta collect the eggs. They it's gratification for them because then they raise these chickens from these little chicks and then they have you know eggs and then if even if they had a rooster, then they could even, you know, collect the eggs and, you know, put them in incubators or have little chicks on their own, you know. Yep. So it's, you know, like I said, we try to open up possibilities for people. Yep. I'm gonna get back to... Get back to nature. Country living. Yeah. Get back to growing your own food, raising your own animals. You know what you're eating, you yeah. know. Yeah, and it's like I was reading, uh, I got my magazine yesterday from our co-op, our local co-op, and they said that just here in East Tennessee, what was uh, crop production was down 43%. Yeah. 43%, that's almost 50% crop production this year. And it was due to the weather, the drought, that, you know, we had almost... Well, when it was, you had a real wet spring and then it turned off dry right right when the garden would be producing and then it started raining after the garden produced. right so anything that produced got flooded out you know and um yeah we need to 
we need to try to get back to country living and trying to get back to soil production and, you know, healthy soil and healthy farm living. Yep. But that's what we've been doing the past several days. We haven't done any videos. So. Now, he's been, he's been busy. He's had other jobs going on that um, has kind of took first precedence over anything else. So, but he's going to get this one done today, I believe. Uh, I doubt if I'll get it done today. Well, you can get the roof on and the rest of the wire. Maybe not well, stay. I'm going today. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's in slow motion today. <laughs> but, but he's got, uh, like, the doors to do and the screen. And well, I've got a box this in for the right for the I'm screen the door to this so they can get out there and clean that too you know, so you know, so. yeah like a screen door. Well, he's got a little bit more maybe one more day of work on it yeah. and it'll be done it'll be done by tomorrow yeah Watch. i just wanted to show you what we've done yeah we fell off the map. yeah he's we're not fell off the map we're just hiding under a bunch of stuff doing work It's going to turn out really nice, very unique. Yep. The chickens is dumping in it a bunch. Yeah. So I'll sit there and go in the little door and come out the big door. Yeah, our chickens already gave it an approval. Yeah. So. Well, we love to hear from you. It's the first day of October. We've got a nice, cool nip in the air. It feels like the first day of October. The trees are starting to turn. So, Randy loves it. I don't like it at all. <laughs> you get out here and do something. I just yeah. don't like it getting dark earlier. Yeah. But it makes me quit earlier. So, oh. you're making me back up here. So. Well, if you have any comments, suggestions, Please let us know. We love hearing from you. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. And as always, remember, we love you. God loves you. Y'all have a blessed day.